These might be too much for me, but I will give them a go. I bought deep on this one. It's gonna be good. I am really unsure about this next item. I've ordered something that I never thought I would order. All right, y'all, there is a lot to get to in today's unboxing. I'm so jazzed for this order because Walmart has just started releasing their summer styles and these unboxings are the quickest way that I can get you guys this information so y'all can hopefully grab these styles before we all know they will inevitably sell out because they are so good. Links to everything will be in the description box as well as over on the pinned comment. So let's get into it. I normally leave the big box for the end, but I think I'm gonna do it a little differently today. And let's start with the big box. And if you feel like you're noticing more Walmart launches, you're not imagining things, they did tell me that they're gonna be doing more frequent launches this year, which I love, cause that just means a lot more Walmart for us to get into. And ooh, this is a fun box. Oh my gosh, okay. So let's start out with this Sophia two-piece set. So you buy these pieces individually if you don't wanna go for the full look. But this is from Sophia. How great is this palm print? The background is lavender and then it has this kind of ready orange palm print pattern on it. This is a paper bag style. It's gonna be a linen blend. It has a matching belt that has a tortoise detail. I, these look kind of small. I hope these fit. I did pick these up in a size small. I have high hopes for them. That is adorable. And then I got the matching top. So this is a button down top in the same material. That's gonna look so fun. This reminds me a lot of the Scoop Butterfly set that they did last year that sold out really quickly. So from Sophia's line, I feel like this is one that is gonna go very fast. I also picked the shirt up in a size small and it does have this built-in tie detail. This is not one that you can opt out of the tie. It is made like that, which I love. You do also have these front pockets. This shirt is around $22. And I know I'm gonna love this together, but this is also a set that I would mix and match. I would wear these shorts with just a plain tank top. I would dress the top up with trousers. You could throw it on with a skirt. And this has a nice weight to it, but since it is that linen blend, it's gonna still be breathable. This did come in a solid that I also picked up. I wasn't sure if this was gonna be white or cream. Look Looking at it in person, it is more of a cream color and this is gonna be a good choice for summer. You can do whatever you want with this shirt. You can wear this as a swimsuit cover up. You can throw it on with a fun colored pant. You can wear it with your denim shorts. This is a must have in my opinion. I also picked this one up in a size small and there was also a matching short to this. This looks so nice. Wow, I love this together. It is definitely giving quiet luxury. Y'all have to tell me below in the comments which set you like better. Are we team solid cream? Are we team palm print? The one thing about the lighter color is that it's thin, so it probably is gonna be see-through. I really don't mind that when it comes to these more linen breezy styles because that kind of just goes with the look. But if you're worried about it see being see-through, I'd probably opt for the other color. But these are fantastic. I hope I got my correct size. All right, there's a lot going on in this box, but my eye is going straight to all the fun summer brights. If you missed out on some of Scoop's capsule pieces in that lime green, a lot of their new summer pieces are coming in that same great color. So this is a halter top. It does tie at the neck and it's made out of a really lightweight sweater material. I picked it up in the lime, but it is available in two other colors. This top was $18, which I think is a really great price. They are calling this color, by the way, Kiwi Colada. And I got this in a small, Shirts like this can really go either way on me, so I, maybe I should have sized up to a medium. I'll put any relevant sizing information up on the screen, but I'm gonna love this with white shorts, a wide leg pant this summer. This is a really fun color. And another halter style, I have this dress here from Free Assembly. I ordered this one because in my last video, I got quite a few requests for more styles with sleeve coverage. I know that can be important to a lot of us in the warmer months. So I think this free assembly dress could be a great option. So this dress does have a fun volume sleeve that does look like it's gonna hit around the elbow. Feels really lightweight. I saw online that it is a cotton dress. You do have some elastic at the sleeve. And I think this is gonna hit 
somewhere below my knee, so this is definitely going to be a midi style. You also have this smocking in the back as well as a zipper to get in and out of the dress. This looks like it runs a bit big, but I know that can be really deceiving just looking at it. So what I think is cool about this dress is it's kind of a convertible style that you can wear a lot of different ways. So you can do it more like a sweetheart neckline with the sleeves up, like how it is here, or you can untie the bow and wear it as a halter. You also can wear the sleeves off the shoulder. So kind of whatever you're into, this dress can do. It also has this little keyhole detail right here. And in addition to the black, which I think this is a good summer black, it does also come in a brown floral print. All right, and up next, I do have a pair of shoes. These are from Madden Girl, and I ordered these because I was trying to find a really good look for less of the Prada sandals. Those can be like a thousand plus dollars. So I am very pleased with my look for less here from Walmart. They have that patent upper. They have a nice big gold buckle. Birkenstock also did a version that looks like this that's a couple hundred dollars, so I think I did pretty good. I also like that these have a faux suede footbed. Some of the sandals like this that have a plastic footbed squeak when you walk, especially if you are anywhere hot and your foot is sweating, so I'm hoping I won't have a problem with these. So I picked these up in my regular size nine. I love these. I think they're so pretty. The size nine fit great. They look nice on the foot. They're gonna go with a lot. This does come in a couple of other options. I think there's a silver online as well as a white. These are currently on sale too, so I wouldn't wait on them. And these do come in whole as well as half sizes. So next I have this white dress from Time and True. I'm not trying to sound the alarm, but if you see a white dress at Walmart and especially a white dress from Time and True and you are interested, you've got to order it immediately. I've had several other styles that I didn't even have time to get it into a video. So just right off the bat, this one is super thin. You're probably gonna have to wear a little slip underneath it. I do have one from Amazon that I really like, so I'll link that below. So this dress is 100% cotton and the tank straps on this are actually adjustable on the inside with these little buttons, which I wasn't expecting, so that's nice. It does completely button down. It does have a matching belt. This dress does have pockets, but definitely the prettiest part of the dress is this eyelet here at the bottom. And this looks like it's gonna be about midi length. It also has a little elastic in the back. I do think, again, with a slip underneath, this is gonna be a really nice dress. It's only available in white and is around $28. And this next pair of shorts, I have such high hopes for. We are keeping our scallop and eyelet trend, but these are a pair of denim shorts from Time and True. They're calling this a bleached light wash, and these are very light. I love them already. I hope my regular size four works in these. That's what I ordered them in. So these are number sizing and it does say that this is a cotton short. That means these are gonna have no stretch to them at all. So we'll see how the sizing is on this, but I think these are darling. I think you could wear them with a tank top, but you could also throw on a nicer top, some cute sandals for more of a feminine look. And I think this is the only color option under the link. These are under 20. If you watched my last Walmart unboxing, I kept saying that I know that I ordered more hats. They're in here. So first up is this little pickleball, little baseball cap. This is adorable. It does have pickleball embroidered on it with the two paddles. It says varsity. And then on the back, it's embroidered and says, meet me at the court. I will say caps never fit my head because I have such a large head, so you guys can't go off of me. But it's a, this is a really cute style. If you are a ball cap girl, you need this. Okay, and I'm looking under the link. This is available in about five or so other options. There's one about coffee. You have a mom baseball cap, which would be great for Mother's Day coming up. The lake vibes in the light blue is adorable. And then there's also a pink option. And this cap was around $9. I also picked up this natural straw hat, which looks very special with this chain detail. I picked it up in the lightest color. Let's see, on the label, they're calling this ivory, but it's also available in an all black and then a darker natural color that the chain on it is pink. Let's see if this hat will fit me. Okay, I'm pleasantly surprised with this style. This is gonna be your go-to straw hat. Take it to the beach. It's gonna cover up your face. And although this hat is very pliable, this is not gonna be a packable hat style. So this is not one that I would crush, but I think this is a really cute hat for around six $16. Okay, next I have a two-piece set from Live and Lottie. I am always looking for ways to be cozy even in the warmer months and I'm hoping this set fits the bill. It is this little fleece baby pink short. It does have elastic in the waist. You have a draw cord 
It does also have pockets and it's fleece lined, but very lightly fleece lined. And then it comes with this little matching zip up hoodie. It does look like it's gonna be cropped, but not too cropped, just kind of skimming the waistline. And I like styles like this, especially this time of year because you can pair it with a tank top. And then when you get too warm, you can take it off. You can wrap it around your waist. This comes in four colors total and you're getting both pieces for $18, which I think is a great price. Skims, which is much more expensive, actually did a whole line of sweats in this same exact color. And I already know what this next item is. It is a floral jumpsuit from Scoop. I am such a jumpsuit girl. I think it's so comfortable. I also like how much you can dress up or dress down jumpsuits. This is a style that I know I can wear with sandals and then I can also throw this on with a high heel. But what really got me about it was the print on this. This is a gorgeous black and white print. It does have a halter neckline and on the back it has that gel that's gonna help keep it up. You also get in and out with a zipper on the side. It has a matching belt which has a legit buckle. So this is not just a little fabric belt, it's a little more elevated than that. You do have pockets and it is a wide leg style. I think this is going to be such a fun jumpsuit. It also has a satin like feel to it. And I went ahead and looked up the inseam. This has a 32 inch inseam. So I take back my previous statement, unless I get this hemmed, I will wear it with a high heel, but that's great news if you're taller than me. Hopefully this is one that's gonna also work for you. I know it's available in black, which would be fantastic to have. It'd probably be seasonless in black. And I also picked it up in this hot pink. So if you're a color girl or you're embracing color this season, you might really like this one. And this is gonna pair so well with natural accessories. I also could see this paired with black white, brown, so it's more versatile than you think. All right, we have made it out of that big box and I can feel that there is a bag in here. Okay, and here I actually have two bags. So the first one is this light brown little crossbody bag. And if you guys watched my Walmart favorites, I did talk about the time and true natural raffia bag, how I thought it was the perfect bag, except for it was missing the top handle. Well, y'all, this one has a top handle. I think this is a neutral that's gonna go with a lot, but it's also available in black. So you have this diagonal stitching on the outside. It has gold hardware. Wow, this has so much more organization and compartments than I would have thought. So it opens up really nicely and you do have card holder slots on each side of the handbag actually. And you have this little divider here in the middle. I think that's pretty great for such a small bag. And it also has a slip pocket here in the back. This bag feels really great. It looks nice. It doesn't have, honestly, like a cheap plastic look to it. My one complaint is that they didn't make the crossbody straps removable. So you can't wear this just top handle if you want. I'm a crossbody girl, so I'm okay with that. But if anyone from Walmart is listening, give us some removable straps. It also does have an adjustable strap here. If you are looking for a brown light neutral bag on a budget, this is it and it's under $18. And then an opposite style bag, we have this black, more structured, medium-sized bag from Time & True. It does have gold hardware, and what I liked about this is the front pockets. Pockets on top of pockets on top of pockets is very popular right now in handbags. So this bag has one large open compartment, and then you do have two slip pockets on the side. This one does have a top handle as well as a removable crossbody, so on this bag, you can wear it either way. And then it has this slip pocket on the back that does have a button closure. I love when handbags have this because I can just slip my phone in the back. I have easy access in and out. And then of of course, you do have the zipper pockets here in the front. Normally when bags have pockets this size, I end up using these for my ear pods or I have my little lip combo in there. This bag also has a nice feel to it. So I feel like Time & True might have gotten the memo when I said that they didn't have a lot of good bags right now because I think both of these are pretty good options. And this bag is available in a couple of other prints. All right, and I'm seeing lots of floral in here. So this is, I think, a dress that I got a while ago from Time & True that just dropped. It is really pretty in person. Sometimes these floral prints can go either way. It's a tiered sundress. It does have multiple straps that are adjustable that I think are gonna make a really pretty crisscross in the back. This does have an elastic band. 
It also has pockets. It does have a tiered skirt. This is very thin and lightweight, so it's gonna be perfect for the hotter months. This dress is $18, and I know it's gonna go so quickly. And this is just a cute little summer sundress. Throw this on with some sandals. You could also wear a denim jacket or a lightweight layer over this. I'm really not the biggest fan of a small floral print, and I think this is a really good one. In addition to the pink, it does also come in a black floral print. And this dress is 100% rayon, so I am expecting it to have a nice little swing to it, especially with the tiered skirt. All right, and in here I have what I think are the new Sophia pants so I did pick these up in two colors and it is what she is calling her petal palazzo pant so these pants are a high-rise style they bow in the front and then the pant pedals out so it's going to split open in the front like a slit in a skirt so I'd probably style these the same way that you would a skirt you can throw these on with a tank top I also probably am going to try to wear these kind of like a beach pant I think that would be really fun so I did pick them up in green and these are going to be a major wide leg style. So I also picked these up in black, which is what I thought this was, but it's not. It's the Scoop Linen Blend Little Vest. The last capsule vest and matching pant that Scoop did sold out so quickly. So probably out of everything in this video, the linen suiting, which is gonna be a wide leg trouser, this vest and the matching blazer, those are gonna go first. I do have it here in black. I also picked this up in a size small because it did look more relaxed than the capsule collection vest. That one in a size small did not fit me, so I'm interested to see how this one fits. It does come in five colors, including a fantastic cream pinstripe and a really fun hot pink. And the only thing that goes as fast as a white dress is probably a blue and white striped dress. This is one that I know is going to sell out so quickly. It's from Free Assembly, and I just really liked the classic design of this dress. It has more of a squared off neckline. You have adjustable straps, smocking in the back, as well as a zipper to get in and out. This dress does have pockets, and vertical stripes can be very flattering on. I went with this color just because I know it's gonna go so quickly, but it also comes in a red and white stripe and with Memorial Day just around the corner, I think that'd be a great option. It also is available in black. And oh my gosh, you guys, I'm seeing this whole stack to the side of me. Wow, did I go in on pink or what? Let's start with this time and true top, which they are calling this color smoking hot pink. And oh my gosh, look at that eyelet little sleeve. It's this smock top, so it looks like the whole top of the shirt is gonna be smocked. And then it does have a slight peplum, and I do like that this also has a V neckline. I think this is gonna be really flattering on. The smocking is gonna make this more of a fitted style. I picked this up in a size small, and it's also available in white as well as black. And I think this just looks more feminine, more dainty than throwing on a t-shirt. But the styling's gonna be just as easy throw this on with your white jeans a pair of denim shorts this top is a hundred percent cotton so it's gonna be nice and breathable and it was fourteen dollars an item that I get every year from time and true are their tank tops and I saw online they were selling them in a three pack and all of the color combos were good so I opted for the pack that includes a black tank top which these are scoop neck rib tanks it also came with this great neutral and of course, Time and True's smoking hot pink. I picked these up in a size small. They are gonna be a fitted style and they're a cotton model with a little bit of spandex. So they have a really great feel to them. You can wear these on their own or you can use them as a layering piece and you're getting all three for around $15. So that makes those about $5 a piece. And then I have these pink cargo pants from Liv and Lottie. And I picked up kind of a similar pair from Aerie that my mom immediately stole. So I was on the hunt for a replacement from Walmart. And now that I'm looking at these, these are a serious cargo pant. Think a moto jacket and a pant. They these might be too much for me, but I will give them a go. And these pants have pockets galore. We have pockets on top of pockets, on top of, yes, even more pockets. These are wide leg and they're mostly cotton, so they are nice and lightweight. Another thing that I'm unsure about is the back is just a flat pocket. This is not a real pocket. I have no idea why they did that. We will see how that looks. These are also available in black and Liv and Lottie is a junior's brand at Walmart, so I did size one up to these in a medium. They are nice and lightweight, so they could work because of that. I don't know. This one could go either way. Okay, let's see what's going on in this box. 
I've misplaced my scissors. Okay, this is a jam-packed little box. I'm seeing a lot of those linen pieces that I was talking about earlier. So we'll start off with this sand color. Yeah, Scoop's calling this Cuban sand. So this is the linen wide leg trouser pant. These are gonna be good. These are gonna be so good. I already know it. It does have belt loops. It does have a hidden hook and eye. They have pockets. There is no pocket in the back. There's not even a faux suit pocket. These do have a wide leg and they're nice and lightweight. The material is a little different than I thought. I was kind of expecting more of a beachy linen. So I did look it up. This is a linen rayon blend. So that rayon is what's making it feel so soft. I think these are awesome. Think more of a trouser than a pant. So you could dress these down, but you also could wear these to the office. And I love the color. Also online, they're showing these a little bit more cropped, which I would love it. I think it looks fantastic. It does have a 31 inch inseam though. So on me, I'm expecting these to be long and to probably have to wear them with a heel. And then I picked up, I think it's um, a strapless top. I know, I'm going back after another scoop strapless top. You guys know I didn't really care for the tube top. Oh, I for some reason I thought this was strapless, but it's not. So this is gonna be a little tank style. It does have a matching belt. It does have a higher neckline with this pleat detail. It has a keyhole back. And I do like that this top looks like it's gonna be a little bit longer. I think this looks like a very expensive outfit. It looks like something that you would get at J. Crew or Banana Republic. So I know this one's gonna go so fast. In addition to this color, this is available in white and I believe black. I think the black is gonna be beautiful. I just wanted to see that sash detail. So I did go with this color. And then I have that same pant and a pinstripe these are gorgeous it is giving menswear it looks expensive I really hope I got my right size so I did order these in a size 4 sometimes scoop runs a little big so I'll put that up on the screen and I can't tell if this is a black or a navy pinstripe I'm gonna probably go with black and this is more of a natural cream than opposed to an optic white. So just so you guys can see the color difference. And I got this in the matching vest. So this is the same vest that I've shown in black. This is a good looking outfit. I'm, t I'm telling you guys right now, this is not gonna last very long. And I'm not sure if I mentioned earlier, but it is lined and I'm hoping it has more of a relaxed fit to it. This definitely looks like something Sophia Ritchie would wear to me. And I'm showing it sleeveless, but you could definitely throw on a shirt on underneath it, wear a jacket over it. And then I did, I bought deep on this one. It's gonna be good. So I got it in the hot pink vest, which the pink, the buttons do match the color of the vest. Whereas the pinstripe had dark buttons, the pink one does have pink buttons. And I just love this color. The look that I'm trying to put together from Scoop actually is a three piece look. So it's that same pant and hot pink. The link had not dropped for my location yet at the time that I placed my order, but I have full faith that I'm gonna be able to track it down. So if you're familiar with the styling on the Scoop scrunch blazers or the belted blazers that they've done in the past, this one is gonna have a really different silhouette, at least going off of the photos. It looked like it was gonna be a lot more relaxed. And I'm happy to see that this blazer is lined. It's also a longer style. You do have one button here in the front and I'm just trying to not cover my microphone. I also am wearing a sweatshirt underneath this, but I know it's gonna be nice and relaxed on its own. And it also has buttons on the sleeve. They all do match the color of the blazer. It has a slight shoulder pad. I love this blazer. It's probably my favorite one that Scoop has ever done. Of course, you can go for the full head to toe look, but wear this to the office, pair it with your favorite skirt. I know I'm gonna love this with distressed denim. You can also wear it with white shorts. I almost ordered it in the pinstripe, but then it's also available in four solids. I also have this one in a size small. And in here was also my matching black pant. I think this with the vest would look awesome with those Prada Looks for Less sandals that I showed at the beginning of the video. And then in here, I do have a little bit of orange. This is a dress from Scoop. And first impressions, this dress looks so much prettier in person than it does online. I think the fabric could really go dressy if you wanted it to. You, this could be your wedding guest dress, your special occasion dress, but it's also one that I could throw on with a nice pair of gold sandals and go. It's a halter that has an elastic, which I was not expecting, but I think that's gonna make it be a little more comfy around the neck. It does also have a keyhole in the back 
and then you do have two side slits similar to the Sophia dress that I've been sharing quite a bit and the waist also is elastic. I'm so glad that Scoop and Sophia, quite frankly, have been doing that with their side slits. They had the prettiest dresses last summer that had just a funky gap because they weren't elastic. So Scoop is calling this a tiered dress, but it really more has just this one panel and then you get into the bottom. I like the crinkle fabric on this. It feels nice and lightweight. And of course the color, I just think is gorgeous. This comes in a couple of other colors as well. And I think the neckline on this is gonna to come in quite a bit so you're going to want to wear this with a strapless bra one of those types of pasties my favorite ones are from amazon i think it's going to be a very beautiful dress and then what i have in here is the free assembly puff shoulder jacket this one is a little bit darker of a wash than I gravitate towards in a denim jacket. It's more of that medium wash. So if you like traditional denim color, I think you're gonna really like this one. I'm actually worried that it's gonna be a little too small, but even if it does fit, this is gonna be more of a tailored denim jacket. So if it's possible for there to be a dressy version of a denim jacket, this is gonna be it. It does have that puff sleeve detail. So you have the little pleat up top. If you're in need of true transition wear, something like this could definitely work. Work. I think this is gonna look so nice with your maxi dresses, your skirts. And because this is an updated classic style, I could also see myself wearing this with some tailored shorts. I believe this is the only wash this one comes in. I am really unsure about this next item. I've ordered something that I never thought I would order, and that is a pair of ballet flats. So I got these delivered from store. Ballet flats are trending, they're everywhere. I caved. These are actually quite cute. They're from Time and True. They're a woven style and a natural tan. The toe is solid on these, which does remind me a lot of the Chanel pair that it seems like everyone's trying to copy. And they do also have this little bow detail. I picked these up in a size nine. Since it's Time and True, I would assume these come in whole as well as half sizes. I just have very wide flat feet that I feel like it's, it's just gonna look like a whole lot of foot popping out of these, but we'll see. Okay, I actually don't hate these. I might even go as far to say that I think that they're cute. Now, I wouldn't wear them with a pair of shorts. I probably wouldn't even wear these with a dress. This is going to be a jean, a trouser for me personally. And they're actually quite comfortable because they do have that time and true memory foam. I think another thing that's making these flattering is because they are neutral. They don't stand out on my foot. They're kind of just blending in. It seems like people either love or hate ballet flats. So if you're a fan of ballet flats, you're probably gonna like these. And they are around $18. Oh, I forgot to do a secret emoji. Okay, so we'll go ahead and make today's secret emoji be the flats emoji. Leave that for me below in the comment section so I know you stuck it out with me truly for the whole video because that was our last item. Let me know below in the comments which item was your favorite. And if you love Walmart, be sure to hit the subscribe button because there is a lot more Walmart where that came from. They are have new drops left and right. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I will see y'all in the next one.